Words don't explain how happy and how excited I am to be back to daily videos, baby. Let's go. I'm so hyped because I have no idea. It's a heck of a long story, but I couldn't post the last month, but I am back. And it's time for Pendulum to destroy the whole meta. Today's video, I'm going to be taking on Dragon Link with none other than the best deck. So come at me, bro. All you Dragon Link punches. Dragon Link, you're trash. Dragon Link, bro. You're trash. Best dad. So you guys are ready for the video, smash the subscribe button, baby. Let's hit 50,000 subscribers. Smash the like button as well. Let's get to my first video back to 1,000 likes. And comment down below what the best deck is, baby. And you already know, anything other than pendulums is getting reported. Pen best deck. Let's go. So with that being said, cue the greatest music in the planet that I have sorely missed. It's time, boys. It's time for pendulums to destroy Dragon Lake. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so hyped to be back with you guys, man. Words don't explain how much I love each and every single one of you. I know I haven't posted for the last month, but man, I fucking love you watching this. All of you that supported me from the bottom of my heart, I absolutely love you. Before we continue with this video, I have some massive news I must tell you guys. There will be three new series on Trip Gaming. Two of them are remarkable, but they're going to be held secret. The one which I'm going to mention in today's video, they're all going to be released next week or the week after that. But the one I'm going to be announcing today will be the one that's not so secret for everyone. And that is Sealed Only Pengon Edition. Where I'm going to build a Sealed Only Pendulum deck week to week episodes in conjunction and preparation for the Remote Duel YCS. In which I will top it with my Sealed Only Pendulum deck. Of course, big shout out to Nim Nim, who started it, Ruggles, who did a great job, and everyone else who's done Sealed Only Challenges. Every single dollar that will be spent on TruthGaming.com in the next 24 hours will be used towards my budget of Sealed Only to build the absolute most epic Sealed Only journey of all time. So if you guys want to support the Pen God Sealed Only Challenge, go down below on TruthGaming.com and get yourself, and get yourself the beautiful Troop Gaming Playmats. All available, and every dollar spent on the channel will be going towards building the most epic sealed only challenges of all time. With that being said, it's time to obliterate Dragon. Let's go! Setting up a board is too easy, so I'm gonna showcase you guys, I wanna showcase you guys how to break the Dragon Link board, and my friend Brian, he's gonna put out six in the gates. So, can we break six negates with our current hand? We're gonna have to lure away the jackal. Like, can we do it? Can we break six negates? Well, we're gonna see right here. And stay tuned till the end of the video because I'm also gonna show the deck list at the end of this video. And I'm telling you guys right now, Endymion is just the best deck right now. With the after Drytron got destroyed, this is just the best deck. This could easily destroy everything else. And any deck that puts up three forward negates is getting absolutely destroyed by this deck. It, it's just a great matchup for every single deck in this format, and nothing stands a chance. So as you guys see here, he has double fog blade, seal, savage, silver rock is gonna go into my action and get rid of my best card. And then abomination is gonna have a quick effect to destroy a card on my turn, because rocket tracer is a quick effect. I have six negates to deal with, and he still doesn't stand a chance, baby. He still don't stand a chance. It's been over. The duel was over when I decided to play pendulums. The duel was over before I even looked at my hand. The duel was over the second it was Pendulum versus anything else. Why? Because Pendulum best deck. How many times did I tell you guys? Holy shit, especially this format. Anyways, I go try and bait all of his cards. I'm going to fast forward quickly here. And I'm going to speak more of it later. But I'm trying to bait all of his cards ASAP, bro. ASAP. I'm just using my draw cards. I put up Blue Boy and Souls. I just want him to bait all his cards so my draw cards could resolve so I could Mighty Master his ass. Here I go into Daybreaker. What, what's his, and then I go into Restage. His next play, he goes, so, uh, he goes Seal to Bounce. That way I don't get to pop with the Daybreaker. And then I'm gonna go Restage, uh, Abductor to Search here. 
His play is he's gonna negate it, the abductor with Savage Dragon. And then I'm gonna go restage into Souls. Then I'm gonna draw and then search right hand. So I want you to see what just happened here, okay? He just wasted his seal and his savage. His two most important interruptions. And look how many cards I have. I still have seven cards, bro. Pendulum's insane. This is what happens when you play the draw version of Endymion, which I think is just the best way to play this deck. Like you draw, 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 draw. I have seven cards and he wasted two. Like I got rid of his, my Crowley has gone, which means I'll have to go to Daybreaker as you guys saw me try. And I'm still gonna try and go into Daybreaker. I'm gonna go Knowledge here to send the blue boy from my hand. I'm gonna Desires here. I'm gonna go draw two. And then look at this now. I have eight cards in my hand and he, the only cards he has left is Double Fog Blade and an Abomination. I, did you see how good Restage is? This was all Restage. This was all Restage. Desires, Allure. Allure got me these cards. Desires got me these cards. And guess what? Time Gazer is still in the extra, in the deck. Hence, now we're gonna go to Chronograph and apply more pressure. He goes a bomb, he's scared here they're gonna Pendulum Summon. He thinks that Abductors went only low scale. So he's gonna activate Tracer to pop the uh, Rusty to trigger Abomination to pop my Abductor, thinking that I'm gonna Pendulum Summon Jackals, right? No, that's not the case. I'm gonna go Chronograph into Time Gazer to Special Chronograph, and I keep, I always keep scales. With the new release of the Doremi Chord Link 2, you could use this to set your scales as freely as you want, but until that comes out, save your scales freely. I will make videos on the new cards in the next few days, but I just have to showcase you guys this absolute obliteration of Dragon Link with respect to my boy Brian. I, I love him my crush cards, but I'm gonna have to do him dirty here and OTK his ass through six negates. So our next play here, I'm gonna go into Daybreaker again. Daybreaker's effect is once per turn in the second part of the effect. Not the first part. The first part where it says if this card's in some and place one counter is as many times as you possibly humanly want. But these are once per turns. But luckily, I didn't activate any of these when I first summoned my first Daybreaker when you sealed it back. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go into Magist Artemis Maiden, put a link, uh, put a counter on Daybreaker. This card has replaced Relinquish Anima, even though Anima would have been good here. But the fact that Abductor, Servant, every single Time Gazer, Chronograph, because well, Chrono Guard goes into Time Gazer, can now turn into a, a target for Knowledge to draw two. And for a target for Daybreaker, it makes Daybreaker way better. It makes Knowledge way better. And Daybreaker and Public Knowledge are two of the most important parts of Pendulums, especially this version. So you need to play Artemis now. Now Daybreaker is going to have two counters. I'm going to use Daybreaker to pop a Trap card. He changes Fog Blade to negate it. And that's totally fine. Next, I'm going to go into Selene. And now Selene, he's going to Fog Blade. And guess what? Now I got rid of every single one of his interruptions and I didn't even Pendulum Summon yet, and all his interruptions are gone. Well, guess what? How about we save the best for last, and we Pendulum Summon now? So we Pendulum Abductor and Double Chronograph, and a lot of people don't play Chronograph, right? A lot of people don't play Chronograph because Time Gazer sucks. Well, look at what it just did for me. It uh, gives you, a, Chronograph gives you a Pendulum Summon. Like, without cards going to the extra deck, you're not, like, playing, you're not actually, your Pendulum Summon's gonna be weak. Chronograph Sorcerers are required. And their awkward level doesn't matter because you just link them off for Selene's. As you guys are going to see me do here, I just go into another Selene. Selene's effect is not once per turn. I go into another Selene to special summon Jackal from my graveyard, and then into special Mighty Master to destroy four of his cards. I have Selene, Jackal, Reflection, and Mighty Master, four cards to blow up his entire field, leaving one monster left. I didn't even use Allure of Darkness. I didn't even need this card. And then here I'm going to go into Axis Go Talker, pop an attack for 10,100 damage and I still had a lure and if I really wanted to I could have cleared his whole board and put up five negates if I wanted to but I'll settle for the OTK pen best deck let's go so as you guys see here this is the deck this deck it's beauty in its finest I love this deck oh my god look at this draw card draw card draw card I'll explain it all you guys can see even more of it on my Patreon, but let's get started. I'm hard to be back, bro. I love this deck. I fucking love this deck. Servant Vendemian, I love you. Let's go. Servant, triple abductor, double jackal. Now, before I played one jackal, but jackal destroys this whole garbage ass meta. This meta loses to one jackal, one master. <laughs> so it's good to have two just in case he desires it away. Four, five, six, triple master, one reflection. 
always one reflection. Don't play Cerberus, okay? Cerberus, when it resolves, is good, yes. But the only way this deck loses is if Cerberus gets ashed. Now, if anything gets ashed, you really don't give a shit. So, this is just the best ratio after much testing. Time Gazer, Triple Chrono. You need to play Chrono on Time Gazer. I don't give a shit. It's a spell card and it's an extender. I can't stress enough how important extenders are in this deck. The only way you break boards, you cannot break boards with a Pendulum Summon. You can only break boards by extending before your Pendulum Summon, as you guys saw me just do. I cleared six interruptions without a Pendulum Summon. I didn't even Pendulum Summon, and I cleared six interruptions. That's why you need to play multiple Blue Boys and Secrets to make your second Crowley live. That's why you need to play Chrono. That's why you need to play Abductor. They all force interruptions, all of them. Reflection as well, but this is the, uh, like, one is perfect. And that's why you play all this. They force interruptions. That's why you play Restage. It forces interruptions. It extends monsters on field. Force interruptions. Double Blue Boy, Double Secrets, one knowledge. Until the day I die, I'll be playing this list, th this version, this version. Why? Because if you go normal summon Blue Boy effect and your opponent Fog Blades, which for some, like a lot of people are playing Fog Blades and Rusty and Dragon Link now and for other decks, well, they Fog Blade, fucking no problem, bro. Special Summon Souls. Go into Crowley. Now Crowley is live! Now Crowley is live! Because you have the second Blue Boy in your deck! You need two Blue Boys! Come on! You need it. One Dresser Confit. The reason behind one is you don't want your research to be dead. You want as many low levels as possible. And another reason is it does happen more than one. Is that you open a, a one Magician Souls and you already have an Abductor. You want to be able to search something else you can special summon. I know it doesn't seem like it'll happen, but it happens a lot. You play so many ways into Magician Souls that sometimes it's best to get another Extender. And that's when you play the one Confit. Because there's times where you open... Triple up, like you have triple abductor, servant, mastery. Typically, my servant specials an abductor because abductor will get you a souls and the souls will send a jackal and you get a free Celine. So instead of going servant jackal, the play is Celine jackal. Does that make sense? You get a free link three by going abductor into the souls because you're playing so many spell cards. And don't forget, Chrono and Blue Boy are also spells. So you're playing 25 spells over here because Chronograph leaves the scale to put another spell down. So this is a spell card. Chronograph is as much of a spell card as, as Desires is. A Blue Boy is a spell as well, because it gets a spell. So you're playing 25 spells over here. So you always play so many spells that you're allowed to do that play with Servant Abductor, Search Souls, Send Jackal, and it's the exact same result as Servant Jackal, except you get a free Selene. Uh, and then that's why you also play the one conf, like I just said. Draw cards now. Look at the draw power, bro. Upstart, Triple Desires, 4, Double Secrets, 6, Triple Allure, 9, Into the Void, 10. If you're not playing Into the Void and the Lore and Pendulum, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Like, you just, it, at least in Endymion, this is why you play Chrono. Without Chrono, you can't play a Lore. So you're playing so many ways to Darks, and if it's not a Dark, it searches a Dark. You're playing these 10 draw cards, the 1 Knowledge is 11, and 2 Blue Boy. You're playing 13 draw cards. It's fucking unbelievable. Triple Mastery. Like, this, how, look at this deck and how can you possibly break? It's, it's such a beautiful deck. Instant Fusion helps with Restage, and it helps to stop... The only card in the world that's off to is Droll, but not many people play Droll anymore. Drytron is dead. No one plays it anymore. And one Citadel. There's a reason why I'm playing one. Citadel sucks as a card. Absolutely. This card sucks. 100%. But there are times, okay, where you need to search the Citadel just to get another spell card. I know it doesn't seem like it, okay? But if you read Spell Power Mastery, okay, it says add one. Sorry. If you read. Yeah, add, add one Endymion card from your deck to your hand. So sometimes, if you already have a scale, you need Mastery to search the Citadel. Which is very weird, I know. But this says card, it doesn't say monster. So sometimes you need to search it to get that one extra spell counter. If you have an Abductor, for example, and you just top deck a Mastery. Or you have Mastery, you top deck Abductor. Scale Abductor, activate Mastery. Mastery effect... Search Citadel, and like your, your scales are complete. Let's say you already have a high scale. So I know it sounds like it doesn't always happen, but it actually happens a fuck ton. Especially if you're someone like me who plays like thousands of pendulum duels. It happens a fuck ton, but you need mastery to search a Citadel just for another spell counter somewhere on your field because your scales are full. Or when reflection crashes, so reflection has an effect where it could crash and search an endemian card. Sometimes you need the one Citadel. 
Oops. What happens if you have a jackal on the field and your scales are full and you need the mastery to search the citadel to trigger the master, which is the reason why the scale is full. So you need it for that one reason. It's very big brain, but it's required. Triple restage one right hand. I tried many ways without this and with not, and it's just too fucking beautiful. And it destroys Dark Ruler like nothing. And because it's our usual in the extra deck and you have 10,000 ways to search, post side deck, you're always ending with a right hand. Side deck. This format is absolutely beautiful for Pendulum. Why? Because what the most played decks are Winda decks, Virtual World, and Dragonlink. All those decks fucking die to all these first nine cards. Draw one. Draw one of these nine and you auto win. Everyone with a brain, the second that you have scales up, will flip should all shiz them right away. Before you special shit. Why? Because if you pendulum a mighty master, you'll negate the should all shizzle. Hence, they will pre preemptively activate shizzle. Hence, you sphere mold their ass into oblivion. Lava golem their ass into oblivion. Dark rule their ass into oblivion. And don't get me started what this does to New Age Virtual World and what this does to Dragon Link. Fucking obliterates them. Next, as for the side deck, you have five auto wins versus the only deck that could compete against this deck, which is Eldritch. Triple Lightning Storm, Feather Dusted, Red Reboot. Activate one, you auto win, and then kill them with the rest. And one eccentric because Abductor searches eccentric. You side this in against Virtual World. Abductor searches it, you pop the trap card and you kill them. Eccentric, you can also search with the Doctor in any trap against trap deck to pop any trap card and you use it for a lot of random ways. Sometimes you could use Abductor to search eccentric to pop. Uh, like Vanity Ruler, you can use it to pop Dark Law. There's a lot of random ways it comes up. Extra deck, Triple Selene, Crowley, Daybreaker. These five are fucking vital. Uh, Cross Sheep, vital. Masquerina, vital. Because you don't want to hard lose to Zodiac. So you just use Masquerina and Underworld Goddess to get rid of their monster. And then they're never going to be able to go into Zeus. Uh, if you can't afford Underworld Goddess, it's fine. I don't even know what it's worth right now. Probably nothing. But you can always put in Nightmare Unicorn instead. One Appalooza is good, access code, uh, Saryusha, Artemis, if you don't have Artemis, play, uh, play the other Link one, uh, I forgot what it's called, but yeah, they're both good, but this is just better because it helps make Daybreaker way better, Absolute Vortex and Millennium Mines are strictly this infusion. That's a deck, the deck's fucking sick, absolutely obliterated Dragon Link, and don't forget guys, before we end up the video, go check out down below at TriffGaming.com, every dollar spent today will be a dollar spent towards... The most epic, epic sealed only series of all time. And if the budget is like, if, if $1,000 of mats I purchased, then I will spend $1,000 on the sealed only. Every penny of my of my website is going towards sealed only challenge to make it as epic as possible. So go check it out. And I will be using the sealed only deck to compete with, I will be compete with this sealed only deck in the remote dual YCS. Anyways, hope you guys like this video. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, comment down below what you think of this video, and shout out to Cards Cards for this video. That was a blast. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!